Also just a small glimpse of what it's like to live with me during the middle of my project. Just, just be glad that you're not stuck in isolation with me. Good afternoon, my most favorite mug in the world. With all my crafty pants. That's me. I have been living in this robe for the past two weeks. I may have a little bit of cabin fever. Yep. So for my next craft, I'll be perfectly honest. A lot of times for my craft videos, I have a general overall plan. But for this project, I don't have a plan. <laughs> it's just the kind of mood I'm in. We are going to make me into a moth woman. So this came about because I saw a post on ye old Pinterest, old Halloween costumes. You may recognize the other one in the corner over here because I did use it for my Harley Quinn inspiration. These illustrations were excerpts from a sewing catalog or costume catalog, I guess, called Fancy Dress for Children. And I myself am a fancy child. Basically, these sewing pattern magazines were pretty much Pinterest. They have a ton of really, really good inspiration. They, yes, they may be for children, but there are some really creative costumes in here and also some questionable ones. But the costume that I am particularly fancying is this butterfly costume. Much like my Halloween video where I took a vintage Halloween costume and tried to recreate it, their results were not great. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to redeem myself by recreating this costume, except I want to do a moth version. I don't particularly know why I wanna do that. I just feel like moths are more interesting to me than butterflies. I am fully aware that makes me sound like a gratuitous hipster. So I kind of ran with that idea and started looking up more butterfly and moth costumes. As I was scrolling, I was finding a lot of these seem to be kind of 20s showgirl outfits, which is definitely a vibe. <laughs> Came across as very, very theatrical. So I kind of want to do like a 20s showgirl kind of look with this. So I do want to do the moth wings. And then for the actual bodice, I think I'm going to do something a little bit showgirly, a little bit ballet. We'll sketch it out a little bit. And I think that'll help me determine what I actually want to do. I was looking at different moth designs, found a design that I really liked. So it's called the tiger moth and they look like this. And I just felt like that was really, really bold and beautiful. Bold and beautiful. I just want to be a moth. So I think the plan is we're going to sketch it out, decide what the heck I'm going to make this with. As you know, fabric stores are a no go. So I will be digging into my pile of hoarded fabrics. So let's get this sketched out before we do anything else. That's a scary face. Okay, for the actual cape, I am going to make attachments like she has. I don't know if I want to do the wings as just one big piece or not, or if I want to split it into two. And then for the actual design of the moth, we are going to go very bold with this. And then for the actual outfit, I think I'm gonna go nice and 20s showgirl with it. Maybe a black velvet tank, a cute little skirt to go with it. And then once you add in the color, it'll look something like this. And as far as the materials, like I said, we are going to be digging into my scrap fabric pile. So I'm gonna bring you down there and uh, we are going to see what we have to work with. Sipo. Field trip. So this is where I keep all of my hoarded fabrics of sorts. <laughs> I don't really know what would work best for this. Probably a tablecloth of some sort. What are you? I don't remember buying a majority of these things. I have this black fabric that I don't remember buying. This could work. Yes, this will do quite nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. And then as far as the kind of showgirl bodice that we're gonna do, I do have an old Halloween cape that I don't use, made of black velvet, so. And that, my friends, is still in the trunk of my car because once something goes in the trunk of my car, it doesn't leave. 
So now that I have my two fabrics, let's talk about how we're actually going to do this. I've done this quite a few times in previous videos, but what I think I'm going to do is mix acrylic paint with a fabric medium. It just makes it a whole lot more flexible. I guess I could probably just use fabric paint for this, but I don't have any, so <laughs> we are working with what we got. Here's to going just a little bit crazy and finally breaking into my fabric hoard. <laughs> Cheers. After laying out the fabric, I brought out my own monstrosity for reference. This helped to plot out how long my wingspan would be, as well as how tall to make it. After that, I double checked the measurements. This is me realizing that this is one of the weirdest things I've ever done in a video. This is one of the weirdest things I've ever done in a video. Then I cut out each wing and tried them on. 10 out of 10, very swooshy. For the back of the cape, I decided to make a little back piece. To paint the fabric, as I mentioned before, I took black and white acrylic, then mixed in some fabric medium. I started off with the white paint. I tried to give a very textured look, even going in with a smaller brush and adding some hair texture. Then I went in with black to kind of clean up the edges and make it look a little bit more furry. After that was done, it was time for the wings. I started off by drawing out the design with a marker. Just like the back, I went in with the white paint. I wasn't too concerned with being precise with this, but I did end up using a smaller brush for the thinner lines. Then I used the black paint and a small brush to create those sharp lines. I took a mixture of orange with fabric medium. And I struggled a lot with this. Because as you can see, every layer I did just seemed to soak right through the fabric, and so it was nearly impossible for me to get it to stay that bright orange color. I also initially was going for a yellow-orange gradient, but didn't end up liking how the colors looked together, so I eventually just went all orange. Too much like candy corn. Say it together. Rachel did not give herself enough time for this project. The wings are now drying and those took 
absolutely forever because I do have the cheapest acrylic paint known to man so it took about like three coats for them to even not look patchy and they still look pretty patchy so yeah those are drying because they're basically soaked through so that means the back of them are not very pretty so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for that paint them black when everything is dry or spray paint them even though that kind of defeats the purpose of using a fabric medium because that'll make them super crunchy but yeah, I'm tired. I made a mess. <laughs> I basically made unintentional art here. Oh, are you even focused? Was any of that focused? <laughs> oh no. I will either pick it back up tonight and work on the back of those, or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, so that basically means tomorrow I have to make the bodice and do the reveal and edit it all on the same day, so. Not the smartest move on my part, but here we are. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. See you then. It is now the next day, and I'm not gonna lie to you, my friends, it looks like hot garbage. Last night after signing off, I um, panic spray painted the whole bottom portion of the wings. So that made them very crispy. And so this morning I checked and the spray paint basically dried to a dull brown. So I had to, again, panic paint another orange layer on top of it. And uh, it's not great. I haven't showered in like four days and I am held together with dry shampoo and a deadline. Right now they're drying, and yes, they don't look like complete garbage right now. I can assure you it's not going to be this color when it fully dries. This orange acrylic just does not dry the way that I want it to, and it just dries super dark. You can probably tell here that over here, this more bright area is still drying. This is what it looks like when it dries. And uh, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, I still have to do the whole bodice. I don't think we have a winner here, folks, but you know what? We're gonna persevere. We are going to put our all into this and try to save it. Sometimes that's all you can do. <laughs> you with me? I decided to just drape the fabric to create the bodice since it was a relatively simple design. I just marked out where I wanted the garment to fall cut it out, did the same thing with the side piece. And then I sewed it all together. And then a very important Captain Crunch break. For the skirt, I cut out a very long rectangle of the fabric with the length that I wanted. Then I gathered the fabric to my ideal waist measurement and attached it to the bodice. For the hair, I threw on my trusty Joan of Arc wig and did some basic 20s makeup, including some nice and pointy lips. to you I panicked quite a few times through this whole process just because it wasn't really coming out the way that I imagined it when it's all put together though I think it's quite pretty 
I doubted myself pretty much the entire process. And the fact that I didn't give myself enough time on top of it was just the top of this stressful Sunday. The cherry on top? My brain stopped working about two weeks ago. <laughs> I was really, really worried about the back because quite obviously you can see where the paint bled through. And originally my plan was I wanted to paint the back of it too. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool that it's dark and then when you go like this, bam! It's definitely not one of my favorites that I've ever done. I'm, I'm honestly just glad it's done because of all the panic and stress that I went through. It's very, um, it's unintentionally Halloween-y, which is fine, you know? There's a thing going around quarantine ween right? But yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching even though it was a bit of a mess. Um, I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday and we have fun here. Armpit. And just a reminder that next week's video will be coming out on Tuesday, not on Friday. It's a big partnership that I did, so keep your eyes peeled, fellow moths. So I will see you then. Bye! Oh, the UPS and the postman. Good. <laughs> It's called fashion. <laughs> Look it up. Also, someone said that these remind them of Appa. Yip, yip. So this... F uh. Whoa. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Out. Out. Focus. Lamp. Lamp. <sighs> Moth jokes. Animal crackers, animal crackers. What the hell is this song? All I order is animal crackers. Animal crackers, animal crackers, I love you. Wow, relatable. It's my new favorite song. Goodbye.